There are certain tasks in Excel that can take a long time. For example, we might be refreshing a complex power query. We might be running a macro, or we might even be working with some third party add-ins. And in these scenarios, it can lock up Excel for an extended period of time. But we're busy people, we just can't sit there and wait for that blue wheel to stop spinning. Well, if we've got one instance of Excel open, that's exactly what we've got to do. Just sit and wait for that blue wheel to stop spinning. But if we have multiple instances of Excel open, we can work in one while the other one keeps churning away. Now, when we talk about multiple instances, we're not talking about opening up a new workbook or a new window, but a completely new instance of the application that has its own settings and its own resources. So in this video, we're looking at eight methods. Yep, you heard me, eight methods that we can create new instances of Excel. So if you're ready, let's get started. This first method uses Excel online. Let's ask ourselves, do we even need to open a new instance of Excel on our desktop? Here in Excel desktop, you can see we have the spinning blue wheel. But if I come to Excel online, I have access to the same workbook and I can even change the values. So if our files are stored on OneDrive or SharePoint, we can open up as many instances as we like in Excel online. And actually each browser window contains a separate instance of Excel. So if we have a resource intensive process running on our desktop, we can still use Excel online and even work inside the same file. The second method involves launching Excel from the taskbar whilst holding down the Alt key. So down here, we can see Excel in the taskbar. I'll right click on that and then I'll hold the Alt key and then click on the Excel icon. A dialog box has come up asking if I want to start a new instance of Excel so I can release the Alt key and then click OK. And as you can see, a new instance of Excel has opened up. Method number three is similar to the previous method, but rather than right clicking on Excel in the taskbar, we'll hold Alt and click on the scroll wheel on the mouse. We keep holding Alt as before, and when that message comes up, we can click Yes to open up a new instance of Excel. The fourth approach is a derivative of the previous methods, but it's faster if we know that there's a specific file that we want to open up. So if we navigate to the folder inside Windows, we can double click the file icon and press the Alt key straight afterwards. It then comes up and asks us if we want to open up a new instance of Excel. We can click yes, and that will then open up a new instance and go straight to the file that we had selected. Method five uses the run application. So we can come down to our start menu, scroll down to Windows system, expand that and then click the run application. In there, you can see that I've already run this before, but if we type excel.exe, then a space, then forward slash X and click OK, that will then open up a new instance of Excel. Method six is related to the run approach that we looked at in the previous method, but it uses the search box, which is available inside Windows 10 and Windows 11. In here, we can just type excel.exe space forward slash X, press return, and that will then open up a new instance of Excel. Method seven involves creating a custom shortcut that always opens up a new instance of Excel. So with Excel open, we can come down to the taskbar, right click on the Excel icon, then we can right click on the Excel application in there and then go to the properties window. In the target bar, we can see the address of where Excel is. So I'm going to press control A to select all of that and then control C to copy. Can then close that window and go to my desktop. There I can right click, come down to new and select shortcut. 
In there, I'll paste the address that we copied previously, then I'll type space forward slash X. After that, we click next, and we'll give this a name, open Excel new instance, and then click finish. So now when we double click on that icon, it will always open up a new instance of Excel. If we want to, we have the added option of dragging this into our taskbar, and then we have that option always available to us. The last method involves running a macro to open a new instance of Excel. For this to work, it means that Excel can't already be running a process. But you can run this macro before you start your resource intensive process. You can see the code on the screen there. You can also find the code in the blog post and you'll find a link in the descriptions box below. So I've got that macro. I can simply click run and that will open up a new instance of Excel. If I wanted to, I can even associate that with a shortcut key. I'll come across to view macros. I've got my macro there saved in my personal workbook. I'll go to options and then I could use say control shift Y and then click OK. Cancel that. And now I can press control shift Y and every time that will open up a new instance of Excel. Well, that's it. That brings us to the end of our methods as to how we can create multiple instances of Excel. Now it's worth saying that if you're using this method, that it can become a bit tricky to know which instance of Excel you're actually working in. And the task manager doesn't really help us much either. So for more tips as to how you can handle this and some useful macros, then check out the blog post and there's links in the descriptions box below. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.